Introduction. Hello, and welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll be discussing the rule of strict liability as established in the case of Rylands v. Fletcher. This is a legal principle that has important implications for environmental pollution, dangerous animals, and other hazardous substances and activities. So, let's dive right in. Body. In 1866, the case of Rylands v. Fletcher was heard in the English courts. The defendant, Mr. Rylands, had built a reservoir on his land to supply water to his mill. However, the reservoir was built on top of disused mine shafts, and when it was filled with water, it caused a flood that damaged the plaintiff's property. The court held that Mr. Rylands was strictly liable for the damage caused by the flood, even though he had hired an independent contractor to build the reservoir and had taken reasonable care in doing so. The court reasoned that Mr. Rylands had brought a dangerous thing, the reservoir, onto his land and had failed to contain it properly, and thus he was liable for the harm caused. This ruling established the principle of strict liability, which holds that a person who brings or keeps a dangerous or hazardous substance, activity, or object on his or her property is strictly liable for any harm that results, regardless of whether the person was negligent or at fault. This means that if you have a hazardous substance or activity on your property and it causes harm to others, you can be held responsible for that harm even if you didn't intend for it to happen and even if you took all reasonable precautions to prevent it. The rule of strict liability has been applied in many contexts since the Rylands v. Fletcher case. For example, in cases involving environmental pollution, companies that produce or store hazardous materials can be held strictly liable for any harm caused by leaks or spills, even if they took reasonable precautions to prevent them. Similarly, owners of dangerous animals can be held strictly liable for any harm caused by their animals, regardless of whether they were aware of the animal's dangerous tendencies. Exceptions to the rule of strict liability do exist, however. For example, if the harm is caused by an act of God, such as a natural disaster, then the person who brought the dangerous substance or activity onto their property may not be held liable. Additionally, if the plaintiff consented to the dangerous activity or object, they may not have a claim for damages. Conclusion In conclusion, the rule of strict liability established in Rylands v. Fletcher is an important legal principle that has broad implications for many types of hazardous substances and activities. While it can be harsh for those who are held strictly liable, it also helps to ensure that people take appropriate precautions to prevent harm to others. As always, if you have any legal questions or concerns, it's best to consult a qualified attorney in your jurisdiction. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.